Publishers Weekly, USA Today, The New York Times, Tech Insider, CNN, Daily News, The Atlantic, Business Insider, Time Magazine. Dozens of prominent media sources are talking about one major new idea, comic books. Creative expression outlets that allow adults to achieve clarity and relaxation. In this day and age, stress is practically consuming people's lives. Whether this be pressure from one's job, tension from family issues, or even academic anxiety. Inc.'s interactive coloring books offer a pragmatic solution to this problem. Hi, I'm Charlotte Emerson. Eric Chan. Karen Zip. Kara Rowland. Jake McCurdy. Justin Berger. And we are Inc. Inc. alleviates stress through a variety of artistic outlets and inspires a flow of creative expression from the mind to the page. Inc. offers three distinct books. Explore the Mind allows customers to embrace positive and negative emotions. Explore the Limitless delves into the realm of abstract art. And Explore the World enables customers to travel the world from home. All three lines include elaborate coloring pages, journaling prompts, and activities that encourage customers to interact with their surroundings. Our coloring books provide a more fulfilling alternative to traditional stress relieving outlets such as meditation and yoga. Unlike these activities, customers can see their efforts manifested into a work of art, providing an engaging experience and allowing them to achieve mindfulness and balance through the physical act of coloring. This business plan guides it as it established itself within the book and journal publishing industry as a charitable member of the rapidly expanding coloring book market. Inc. incorporated in California on November 1st, 2015 as a C corporation and is located in Glendale. At this location, the company's staff is directed by the CEO, who holds weekly meetings with department heads and vice presidents to assign tasks, which are then posted on the company's online calendar. To achieve long-term success, Inc. has established one, three, and five-year goals. First, Inc. will begin building a community among its customers through social media and public events, and begin demonstrating its charitable responsibility by sending coloring pages to patients with post-traumatic stress disorder at local veterans affairs hospitals. Next, Inc. will distribute its products to retailers and form a charitable partnership with the PTSD Foundation of America to aid in the recovery of veterans housed at Camp Hope in Austin, Texas. Lastly, Inc. plans to address the detrimental defunding of high school arts programs by implementing the Color the World Project. In this, Inc. will design and send templates composed of individual pieces to select high schools where they will be painted by students and reassembled to form <coughs> murals. Additionally, in years three and five, Inc. will launch new books to maintain brand loyalty. In 2015, the U.S. GDP rose 2.4%, achieving a value of $18 trillion. This economic growth prompted a $350 billion increase in consumer spending. As a producer of printed works, Inc. is associated with the book and journal publishing industry. Although this industry has declined by 0.3% in the last five years, Inc.'s products are marketed within the crafts and hobby genre, where sales have risen by 35% due to the growing popularity of coloring books with adult consumers. This is part of a growing social trend called the Peter Pan market, which refers to products and services that allow adults to engage in activities traditionally reserved for children. Books especially have been proven to be a major catalyst in this movement, with adult coloring books holding five out of the top 20 spots on the Amazon US bestsellers list. Additionally, the Peter Pan market has prospered internationally. In Brazil, coloring books account for 17% of all book sales, and Art Therapy, a French published coloring book, sold nearly 4 million copies worldwide. These remarkable sales are clear indications that the Peter Pan market is successful now and will continue to be successful in the future. Within this industry, Inc.'s major real-world competitor is the Secret Garden Coloring Book Series, which feature hand-drawn coloring pages. Inc.'s products, however, go beyond solo coloring, offering journaling prompts and various activities to expand its customers' artistic potential. Inc. also takes a different marketing approach, emphasizing the use of its books as a method of relieving stress. Among the 520 <coughs> virtual enterprise firms, Inc. faces no direct competitors, and one indirect competitor, Karuna, a company that provides yoga classes and apparel. Karuna and Inc. share similar <coughs> philosophies, emphasizing relaxation and community outreach. However, because the products of the companies differ so drastically, Karuna is a minor indirect competitor. Inc.'s products are primarily marketed towards younger generation Y consumers, who spend an average of five or more hours a day on social media. Additionally, millennials are the most stressed demographic, with an average stress level 50% higher than the American Psychological Association considers healthy. Their studies also find that 62% have tried to reduce their anxieties in the last year. This provides Inc. with numerous, easily accessible consumers who align with the company's ideal customer profile. 
Furthermore, as stress is experienced by both young adults and working individuals, the alleviating properties of Inc.'s products can appeal towards Generation X consumers. This demographic has proven not only to have high brand loyalty, but spends more on luxury goods than any other age group. More significant than age is the mindset of Inc.'s consumers. Inc. markets to a psychographic known as succeeders, people who are driven towards self-betterment, as demonstrated by the fact that they spend five times more on self-improvement products than the average consumer. They are also drawn towards caring, socially responsible brands, aligning well with Inc.'s partnership with the PTSD Foundation of America. Inc. aims to be viewed as a company that understands the benefits of creative expression through its interactive coloring books. The company derives approximately 34% of sales from trade fairs, 4% from its website, and 62% from Inc.'s 15 interfirm contracts. To maximize sales in all areas, Inc.'s primary pricing objective is based on virtual industry demand and real-world competitors' prices, who place their products at around $15 per book. Inc. price is slightly higher at $20 per book, because in addition to including colored pencils, it is the sole supplier of coloring books within the virtual market. To extend customer interaction past initial purchase, Inc.'s social media coordinator manages the company's Instagram and Pinterest accounts, currently the most popular social networking sites in the U.S. Inc. also distributes promotional books to influential bloggers and hosts a string of events at bookstores throughout the country in order to familiarize consumers with Inc.'s brand. To produce its books, Inc. partners with Lightning Source, a print-on-demand service operated by Ingram Spark. After an initial setup fee and authorization, Inc. will place monthly orders that reflect customer demand. When a customer makes a purchase, a confirmation email will be sent, and their order will be shipped within 24 hours. As of March 2016, Inc. has broken even with $715,000 in total revenue and $669,000 in total costs. This rapid break-even can be attributed to its manufacturing partnership with Ingram Spark, which sets wholesale costs at $3 and provides the company with a net profit margin of 15% after operating expenses are accounted for. Inc.'s startup budget of $316,000 accounts for initial inventory, equipment, and six months of expenses. VEI provided $114,000 through equity financing, while the remaining $202,000 was obtained through a five-year loan to be paid off at November 2015 prime rate plus 2% interest. Inc. generates a net loss of $126,000 in its first two months due to an initial marketing investment of $108,000. However, the company begins earning net monthly profit of $52,000 in January due to increased sales in all areas. Sales in these months consistently exceed projections by almost $45,000. Inc. employs a persistent invoicing strategy, sending semi-weekly emails to customers who have not yet paid. However, Inc. still faces a large accounts receivable balance of over $430,000 due to VEI's requirement that its companies make sales based solely on credit. Thus, cash flow is negative in most months, with NCash in April 2016 totaling $28,000. Inc. began operations in November 2015 with $52,000 in equity. A strong growth ratio of 2.55 demonstrates Inc.'s financial security by maintaining current assets at double current liabilities and outlets. This ensures the company's financial well-being as it proves that all short-term obligations can be met. In April 2016, Inc. projects total equity at $288,000. Inc.'s financial security is further strengthened by its partnership with Ingram Spark. Through this partnership, Inc. secures a low cost of goods, allowing greater freedom in pricing, as well as financial flexibility when faced with competitive and economic pressures. However, customers may be dissuaded by the price of Inc.'s products compared to that of bargain brands. To combat this, Inc. assures customers that they're investing in a company whose work goes beyond just their purchase. Inc. donates 200 books and hosts four <coughs> workshops annually at Camp Hope in Austin, Texas as the physical nature of coloring finds focus abilities and fine motor skills. Inc. has the opportunity to introduce new books centered around different themes to add variety to the company's product lines, thus growing its brand name and recognition. These goals are also achieved through events hosted by Inc.'s public event coordinator in major cities such as Los Angeles and New York. After conducting industry research, Inc. believes that the coloring book market may near past product trends that have peaked in popularity. Depending on future conditions, Inc. will be prepared to minimize financial damages to its shareholders by implementing its exit strategy. Furthermore, people may dismiss coloring as a juvenile activity. To overcome this stigma, Inc.'s design processes ensure that its products are perceived as sophisticated and mature. The coloring pages within Inc.'s travel theme book depict major landmarks throughout the world, which may incur copyright and trademark claims. To mitigate this risk, Inc.'s operations department collaborates with the company's lawyer to analyze any infringements its products may be subject to and obtains copyrights and trademarks for its products. With Inc, 
You are investing in a company that values creatine. Alleviates the stress of everyday life. Gives back to the youth in their community. Supports our nation's veterans. Prioritizes the individual. Builds meaningful relationships with its customers. And brings the benefits of art into the lives of all who interact with our company. Inc. Lines without limits. Thank you for your time. You are out of the Funny, I was on an airplane just last week and I saw someone with one of these coloring books, so I know it's a viable market. Uh, one of the competitors that I didn't see you mention is people simply purchasing things from the internet. I and mean, what's the danger that someone's going to buy your book, scan it, post it, and that's a big part of your business? I'd like to address that question to Jake. A part of purchasing a book with ink is buying into the community surrounding ink. Through our social media accounts, we have giveaways, um, ask us anything type of events that allow the consumers who buy our books to kind of com um, communicate, interact with other consumers who have also bought our products. By just printing out a coloring page on the internet, sure you may get some of the stress moving properties, but you're missing out on the community that Inc. provides. Also with printing, um, printing them out on the internet, sometimes they're not the best quality. Um, the Secret Garden, which is one of our other competitors, they keep their designs kind of secretive, or they at least keep it off the internet. So if you really want the high quality designs, you're either going to have to have a cheap scan of something else, or you're gonna to need to buy an actual book. And because they're only $20 and they have about 50 pages in them, it's not that much of an investment. And also you can get um, one of our other books if you need to have more, other than going on the internet and printing out more yourself. And just to add on to that quickly, uh, it's also the value of kind of a journal. It's yours, right? Uh, and like we mentioned, our uh, books don't just include coloring. There's journaling prompts and activities as well. Uh, and it's something personal. So it's not just a page that you're gonna throw away at some point. Uh, it's something you're gonna keep and uh, be able to look back uh, in uh, prior years. So as you're looking to grow your business, how do you measure and then reward your employees? I'd like to direct that question to Jake. We reward employees through monetary benefits as well as recognition. We allow our management to, to give bonuses to <coughs> employees they feel are doing exemplary work. We also have a staff um, employee of the month wall in our, in our, in the, on the wall of our workplace where we show the person or persons who showed great work in that particular month, whether it be you um, finishing a great project or competing well and doing well in a competition. Um, we also allow younger um, employees to take up leadership roles to allow them to recognize them for their efforts and reward them, um, reward their efforts by allowing them to actually compete and really challenge themselves. You mentioned an exit strategy um, potentially because our consumers are picking. So what metrics are you using to keep an eye on the market to determine when you will trigger the exit strategy? I'd like to direct that question to Justin. So uh, the, the department that looks after the markets would be our operations department. After, after uh, getting the initial setup process with the manufacturing and all that squared away, the operations department watches trends. That includes uh, the coloring book industry itself, looking at the different genres, the way that's trending, as well as also um, economic atmosphere of the US, and keeping a careful eye on that. The exit strategy is more of a contingency plan rather than a, an actual uh, something that we plan to do in the future. It's something that we have uh, set up purely as a matter of uh, safety for the investors. You referenced, I think, that France and Brazil were uh, good marketplaces. Uh, what challenges would you expect or risks would you expect in uh, tapping into a, an international market? I'd like to direct that question to Pera. A lot of what we face going overseas would be a language barrier, as many of our books include journaling prompts to kind of help tap into another side, a more introspective side. That would be solved merely by hiring a translator onto our staff or utilizing our multicultural backgrounds and seeing who we have within our staff already who can translate. Another barrier that we might face is <coughs> we design our books to be accessible. We design them to be universal. Explore the Limitless explores abstract. Abstract is abstract in that it makes sense to no one, only yourself. We design Explore the World because traveling appeals to everyone in it goes around the world to appeal to people around the world. And just to add on to that, uh, one barrier we will face is uh, branding. Uh, because we are incorporated in the United States right now, we are focusing on branding a lot. Uh, you see our logos, uh, you see our main badges, all the art is the same. Uh, and so people in the United States are experiences and experiencing this, and they're seeing our brand everywhere. Uh, and since we haven't expanded yet, this is going to be a foreign thing. Uh, and so just building that recognition is going to be a challenge at first. 
So when you look at growth, is your marketing model a subscription model where they would buy every month, or is it a one-off sale? I'd like to give that question to Charlotte. Yeah, so one of the things uh, outlined in our three-year goals was the fact that we will release new books after <coughs> one, three, and five years. Uh, and to do that, we want to maintain our customers. So a lot of people, uh, they bring up the, uh, the risk that, isn't this just a one-time buy? Uh, and that is a risk, but the thing is we, we keep uh, customers coming back not only by releasing new product lines, but through our company interaction. Uh, I know we mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, but our Instagram account, uh, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have Instagrams, uh, but there's a direct message application, uh, and through that, consumers can interact directly with our company, uh, and they can send us feedback regarding what they want to see in the next few years, uh, what they want to see in new product lines, uh, and through this customer, uh, and through this, uh, customer feedback, uh, we really build that relationship uh, to make sure that this isn't a one-time buy. People are investing in our company, not just one product. Thank you very much.